I've already removed the top engine cover so in order to do this I'm going to or before I even get started I'm going to test the coolant system I'm gonna put it under a vacuum make sure I don't have any leaks before I get uh, started you know make sure I need to don't need any hoses before I uh, end up draining the coolant and making the car undrivable so in order to do so I'm going to uncap this the car's probably not totally cooled down yet. I'm going to undo that and I'm going to plug my uh, airlift, sorry, my uh, OEM tools coolant evacuation kit up to it. So I've got my um, air evacuation vacuum pump thing. Um, what I'm going to do, I have a 35 millimeter cup. It comes with uh, several different sizes. Um, I believe this cup is going to fit the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cup on like, like so, and I place it into there, tighten this up so that it uh, makes a tight seal. So the 40 uh, is a little too big, 35 seems a little too small, could be a little bit bigger, but should tighten up just fine, maybe. much as possible. Okay. It's pretty snug. That's basically what we're gonna do here. Um, this is a coolant drain, so once I put it under vacuum, a little bit of coolant's gonna spill out here, so I need to put a container to catch it. It's pretty tight to put on. That's good. So, again, I'm going to drain my coolant. Uh, make sure all my valves are currently shut. Shut, shut. This would be open. I'm going to open them once I attach my shop air, my compressed air, to that bad boy. and catch thing. All right, so I'm going to attach my air compressor to um, this valve. And once I once I turn this valve, the vacuum should turn on. Um, and uh, it should start draining a little bit of coolant, but if the vacuum holds, it um, should be good to go. All right, so we got our shop air connected to the uh, coolant reservoir um, and our coolant evacuation kit. So again, the goal is to get it up to vacuum. Probably not gonna be able to get it all the way up to uh, 25 pound feet since I already have coolant in the system. But we'll see how high we can get it.
cool. So we actually got it up to 25. I was not able to do that earlier. Uh, I noticed I did have a leak on this fitting over here. Um, so I uh, put some new sealant tape on it um, and now it's leak free so maybe that was the reason why I couldn't get up to 25. But now we're just going to wait a few minutes, make sure it holds pressure, and we'll start filling with coolant. So the system seems to be holding fine at 26 psi, so now we're going to add coolant. We have a clean bucket, a few jugs of uh, distilled water, a um, jug of Porsche OEM coolant. Um, just going to mix it 50-50, water to coolant. Um, I have another jug of coolant inside just in case, but I think we should be able to get away with just uh, two gallons of coolant. If I have leftover coolant, I'll just put it back into the jug and just have a pre-mixed um, jug of coolant. Be about level with the reservoir. Here's our fill up tube. Stick that in, make sure it stays submerged in the coolant. All I have to do is flip this valve right here, then it should start sucking up coolant, and then the gauge will go down. Once it's zero, then it is full. So obviously the line is full of uh, air. There's no fluid in it, so I don't want to suck a bunch of air into the system. So I'm going to turn the valve, fill the line up with fluid. Then we're going to run the vacuum again. Uh, make sure I get no uh, air into the system. All right, got my lines full of fluid. I think my jigger here is submerged. And here we go. So this valve should uh, Start sucking in fluid. Look at that. So it's sucking up fluid pretty fast. As you can see, my valve is almost unsubmerged, so I can go to go ahead and add more coolant. Okay, add another uh, two gallons, so it should be enough. Otherwise, I'm fucked. So here's hoping. Again, I'm watching uh, my fluid levels.
Just about there. And we are at zero. System should f be full of fluid. Still have quite a bit left over. So, so that's it, guys. That's how you fill your shit with coolant. Thanks for watching.